How's it going all you Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And I'm sure by now you have seen my video where I got to announce the Jason Aaron Thor Omnibus or the Matt Fraction Thor Omnibus. So we talked about seven different Omnibus editions and two reprints. But today I get to talk about the content and showcase the covers. And maybe there's a special little surprise at the end. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us this advanced notification of all these upcoming Omnis and reprints, including the content and the covers. So that's what we're going to be talking about. I got to announce the, the books last week, so this week I'm going to be talking about the covers and the content, as well as have one little extra surprise at the end. Uh, but before getting started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, ring that bell for notifications. All of that helps with our YouTube algorithm and our channel keep growing. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go uh, one by one with these. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is of course the Annihilation Omnibus. So let's look at the cover. We've seen the cover before. This is the standard edition cover by Gabriel De Lotto. It's a beautiful cover. And for the first time we are going to get a direct market cover. But first let's look at the content. So the content is identical to the very first two printings. So you have Drax the Destroyer 1 through 4, Annihilation Prologue, Annihilation Nova 1 through 4, Annihilation Silver Surfer 1 through 4, the Super Scroll miniseries, Ronan, Annihilation 1 through 6, the main event, the Herald of Galactus, and the Nova Corp file. Which the Nova Corp file really works as a handbook guide to the cosmic universe. And speaking of Nova Corp file, that is what the direct market cover is going to look like. So this direct market cover here is drawn by Andre De Vito. So for the first time, we're getting a direct market cover for Annihilation. So those are your two covers. And again, covering the exact same content. Now, let's talk about this Young Avengers omnibus. So Young Avengers by Heinberg and Chung. And let's look at the standard edition cover. So the standard edition cover here is drawn by Jim Chung, and it showcases the original team, all of the members that originally showed up in Young Avengers number one. I can't wait for this omnibus. So let's talk about the content. So the content, collecting Young Avengers one through 12, that is the original 12 issue mini series or maxi series that came out in 2005 in the rumbles of Avengers Assemble. Then we have Young Avengers Special Number 1, Avengers the Children's Crusade 1 through 9, Avengers the Ch Children's Crusade Young Avengers Number 1, which is the follow-up one-shot, and Uncanny X-Men 526 B Story. Now let's look at the direct market cover. And the direct market cover, again, is drawn by Jimmy Chung. However, this time it's one from the Children's Crusade. So it showcases some of the same team members and new team members to the Young Avengers. Yeah, I'm very excited for this run. It was one of my favorite new titles to come out of that Avengers Disassemble era. All right, let's talk about Savage She-Hulk. So for Savage She-Hulk, we have so far the standard edition cover, and that is this one here. And this is drawn by Big John Buscema. This is the cover to issue number one. Uh, so let's talk about the content. The content is Savage She-Hulk 1 through 25 and Marvel 2 and 1 number 88. So this is the original Savage She-Hulk series and it's uh, Jennifer's origin. It's how she got the blood transfusion from her cousin and how she turned into the Savage She-Hulk for the first time. So we don't have a direct market cover yet, but as soon as we get it, we will post it on our social media and share it with everybody. She-Hulk by Peter David Omnibus. Let's look at the standard edition cover here. So this one is drawn by Mike Deodato, and it's from the series itself. He was one of the cover artists on the series. And let's talk about the content. So collecting She-Hulk, the 2005 series, 22 through 38. So after Dan Slott's run, then you have the Cosmic Collision number one, X-Factor 33 to 34. I was hoping those would be in there, so I'm glad to see them there. Sensational She-Hulk number 12, and material from She-Hulk Sensational number one. So this is the after Dan Slott's run, and it's everything that Peter David wrote with the character of She-Hulk. Let's look at the direct market cover. 
So here's your direct market cover by Ed McGinnis. So this is another one from one of the covers that they chosen for the direct market. Next up on the list is Savage Sword of Conan, the original Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 7. So let's take a look at the cover. So, so far we have the direct market cover and that is by Bob Larkin. And the contents of the book are Savage Sword of Conan, 88 to 101. So bypassing the 100th anniversary issue and going all the way to 101, continuing the run of Savage Sword of Conan. Now, War of the Realms, this is a straight up reprint, but just in case you don't know or you missed out the very first time, I know a lot of you all did, here's your standard edition cover by Russell Dodderman. It's a gorgeous cover to issue number one of the War of the Realms miniseries. And let's talk about the content. So the content is identical to the very uh, first printing. It's the f it's just a reprint of it. So you have War of the Realms 1 through 6, uh, War of the Realms Omega, War Scrolls miniseries, Strike Force, uh, Land of the Giants number 1, the Dark Elf Realm number 1, uh, War Avengers number 1, Giant Man 1, 2, and 3, which is an awesome series. I didn't hear enough people talk about that one. War of the Realms Journey into Mystery 1 through 5, Spider-Man and the League of Realms 1, 2, and 3, War of the Realms The Punisher, another great series, 1, 2, and 3, War of the Realms Uncanny X-Men 1 through 3. That's pretty much Matthew Rosenberg just, again, having fun with the characters of the X-Men and just offing them. Uh, before the 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 start of Hawksbox. Uh, War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, 1 through 4. As Guardians of the Galaxy, 8 through 10. That sh actually showcases the death of a major character in one of those issues. Tony Stark, Iron Man, 12 and 13. Venom, 13 through 15. And that is not collected in the Venom oversized hardcover, nor in Absolute Carnage. It's just in this if you want it in oversized format. It is collected in the trade paperbacks. Uh, Thor 8 through 16. It's, oh, by the way, the Venom stories were written by, uh, I think it was Dennis Hopeless. It wasn't uh, Donnie Cates. Thor 8 through 16. Avengers 18 through 20. Captain Marvel 6 and 7. Champions 5 and 6. Deadpool 13 and 14. Fantastic Four number 10. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur 43, Superior Spider-Man 7 and 8, and Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, the B-side story, 43 through 46. Now, as far as the direct market cover, what we're looking at here is the one drawn by the legendary Arthur Adams. Now, let's continue, because we have Thor by Matt Fraction Omnibus that I got to announce. So the very first thing we're going to be looking at is the standard edition cover, and that is drawn by the phenomenal Olivier Coppel beautiful artwork he was one of the main artists on the book when it kick-started and let's talk about the content so this collects Thor agent of thunder one shot Thor reign of blood one shot Thor man of war one shot secret invasion Thor the mini series Thor God size special number one free comic book day 2010 Iron Man Thor that's the story or the flips book uh, Thor 615 through 621, 620.1, and of course that's when it got renumbered, and then it became the Mighty Thor, 1 through 22, 12.1, Fear Itself numbers 1 through 7, Fear Itself 7.2, Thor, Journey into Mystery, 642 to 644, and Mighty Thor, Annual number 1. So the very... That, I mean, there's a lot of things in here that I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting it, honestly, to collect Fear Itself. But all seven issues of Fear Itself are collected in here. Now, Fear Itself has been available in trade paperback. It's been available in, in a standard size hardcover format. But it's never been available in an oversized format. And this is the only time or the only place that it, it is available in oversized hardcover format. So let's look at the direct market cover. So the direct market cover here is drawn by Joe Quesada, but you also have artwork in the inside of the book by Patrick Zercher, uh, Carrie Evans, John Romita Jr., Barry Kitson, Alan Davis, Adam Kubert. So there's a lot of phenomenal artwork in this particular omnibus. And it's not just Mad Fraction because some of the other stories are written by Andy Lanning and Dan Abnett and Gillen. So awesome. I'm, I'm excited for that one. I'm glad that they included Fear Itself. Uh, Thor by Jason Aaron, Omnibus Volume 1. So, three covers. Let's look at the standard edition cover. So the standard edition cover here is drawn by Ron Garney, who is one of the artists on the books. Now let's talk about the content. So, down here, the content. Collecting Thor, God of Thunder, 1 through 25. Thor, 1 through 8. 
Thor Annual number one, Thors one through four, and Mighty Thor numbers one through twelve. It's a lot of Thors. It's a lot of number ones. I'm sure it might be confusing to some people, but this is in chronological order because Thor God of Thunder was where Jason Aaron started writing Thor, and then it became Thor. Uh, just adjectiveless Thor in 2014. Um, after issue number eight, however, it became the Mighty Thor. So it got renumbered to a number one. So while it's a little confusing, I promise it's in chronological order in the way that it should be. Uh, well, in be I will say that in between issues 25 and Thor 1 through 8 is the original Sin series. But before we talk a little bit about that, let's look at one of the direct market covers. So this direct market cover is again drawn by Joe Quesada. So it's an image of Thor during Jason Aaron's run. And as I was saying, the original Sin Maxi series is not included in here, but that actually makes sense. That's an event. However, uh, I w I'm surprised that it, Loki and Thor, the what was it, the Tenth Realm, is not included in here. I think it was just a four-issue miniseries. I am happy to see Thor's one through four in here, though. That's previously not been collected in oversized format. So what this means is that we're probably going to get a volume two with the remaining issues of Thor written by Jason Aaron. Whether it includes War of the Realms or not, I don't know about that. Um, but I'm sure it will include the rest of the Mighty Thor as well as uh, King Thor and probably Unworthy Thor. Uh, just the name of a few of the books that are going to be collected in there. Now, let's look at the direct market cover. So here's your direct market cover. And without giving anything away for those people that have been sleeping under a rock or don't know anything about Jason Aaron's Thor, it's Thor as a lady. Well, you can find out for yourself who it is by reading the book. Sometimes I hate not spoiling anything, but I mean... For those that have read it, we all know who that is, but I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't read it. Uh, but it is drawn by Arthur Adams. Now, let's talk about Doctor Doom, the Book of Doom Omnibus. This is one that I've been getting so many questions about, but here it finally is. Um, I do have a placeholder image that I'll be using. They, I don't think they've chosen the direct market nor the standard edition covers yet. So as soon as they do, I will let you all know what it all collects. Uh, but let's talk about the content. Fantastic Four, 5 through 6, 39 through 40, 246 to 247, 258, 278 and 279, 350, 352. Amazing Spider-Man number 5, Marvel Super Heroes 20, Giant Size Super Villain Team Up 1 and 2, Super Villain Team Up 13 and 14, Champions number 16, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 14, Uncanny X-Men 145 to 147, Iron Man 149 to 150, Marvel Super Hero Secret Wars 10 through 12, Marvel Graphic Novel Emperor Doom, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment, uh, Fantastic Four 67 through 70, number 500, Fantastic Four Special number 1, Books of Doom 1 through 6, plus material from Fantastic Four 236, 358, Fantastic Four Annual number 2, Astonishing Tales 1 through 3, 6 through 8, and Marvel Double Shot number 2. So that's a lot of content from just all over the years. So you have work in here from uh, Jack Kirby, of course, Stan Lee, John Byrne, Walter Simonson, Steve Ditko, uh, John Romita Jr., Dave Cockrum, uh, Chris Claremont, Dennis O'Neill, Mark Wade, Dwayne McDuffie, Ed Brubaker. So I'm glad to see the Book of Doom in here. Um... So I was hoping that there would be more Marvel supervillain team up just because that stuff hasn't been collected but we're only going to get two issues plus the giant size one and two which is still cool but I would love to have seen more of that we're getting a lot of Fantastic Four though but it's from all over the years and I mean I feel like they are important stories in there featuring Doctor Doom we're getting the first time uh, with a big fight with Iron Man and 149 and 150 but not the following uh, fo the follow-up fight, but we are getting some of the best Doom stories in here, including Triumph and Torment, which not only is my favorite Doctor Doom story, but my also my favorite Doctor Strange story. Now, the big surprise isn't an omnibus, but I figured you all would want to know. There's been a lot of people asking me about this, and that is the what's the next gallery edition. Uh, in the gallery edition, for those of you that don't know, are these big oversized books. 
Sometimes they're in soft cover. Uh, this one here is in hardcover, and the one that I'm going to announce is also in hardcover. So they're bigger than your oversized hardcovers. So this is kind of the big size difference that you'll see. Uh, so the next gallery edition that's coming out in 2022 is Weapon X. Of course, Weapon X. I, I was going to do my top 10 most wanted gallery editions, and Weapon X was on there. So hey, now I have to rewrite that list. But there it is, Weapon X Gallery Edition. Let's talk about the content. You have Marvel Comics Presents 72 through 84, and Uncanny X-Men 205, and as well as material from Wolverine uh, 1988. Oh, the issue 166, which is kind of like Barry Windsor Smith coming back and setting up the events of Weapon X. So it's all Barry Windsor Smith, the phenomenal Barry Windsor Smith, uh, doing... Now, Marvel Comics Presents were only eight pages, with the exception of the finale i think issue 84 was i want to say it was 32 pages but and then you have uncanny x-men 205 which is such a great book and it's uh it's not in omnibus format but it has been released in oversized hardcover format in the pages of power pack omnibus but to have it in gallery edition awesome i can't wait for that and he did all the colors in that one oh it's such a beautiful book and then, of course, just a few extra pages that add a little bit to the original Weapon X from issue 166 of Wolverine. So that was the surprise. And when these books come out, don't forget to pre-order them. If you have any more questions, leave the questions down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the books, what, what you think about uh, the covers, and what you think the cover of Savage She-Hulk, uh, the... Yeah, the Savage She-Hulk omnibus is going to be, or if it's going to be a brand new cover. I would love to know all those comments down below. And again, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. This was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you again to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us this information. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that bell for notifications. And more importantly, everyone, stay healthy, stay safe. Much love.